tuned into Catalyst Conversations. What's happening, everybody? It's Pastor Ted. I'm here with the Better Man podcast. Uh, guys, we are so excited. Uh, Better Man 24 is coming October the 26th. Um, and in studio, I actually have one of our guests uh, that is going to be at the Better Man conference. Maybe we, we can have you, we can get you to come too. Um, but, but, but this edition is amazing. Um, guys, uh, we have with us Peter Zook of Stolfus. I, yeah, I know I was going to say right. it wrong. You got it right. No, Stolfus. <laughs> Structures. Come on, with three people in the room, make some noise for Peter. <laughs> um, this, as I said, is our sponsor edition. So before we go any further, Peter, thank you for giving us some money. You're welcome. So, so, so we let's just You're stay welcome. stay straight. Thank, thank you, brother. Um, you know, and and not only again, this is the Better Man Conference, uh, Better Man 24, but the proceeds are going. Uh, you had an opportunity. We walked you around a little bit, um, but we're gonna come, have you come back for our ribbon cutting. Um, but for our um, our Family Matters uh, pre K school that is coming very soon. So thank you, thank you so much for uh, just being a part and and recognizing um, the responsibility that you have to to give back to those who need. So once again, let's get up for Peter Zook from Stolfus. Come on, somebody <laughs> structures. Uh, and the man that needs no introduction, he's been with us before. Uh, he is a friend and family. Uh, I could give you all types of stats. Uh, you can Google him and look him up. He is, Don't Google me either. He is a <laughs> Eagle great. Uh, he's an NFL great. I, I said I wasn't going to do it. He was the number one draft pick. Come on, somebody. And, and what draft was that? In 19, 1984. Come on, 1984. Yeah. That's a big deal. I didn't say he he was he was in the first round. I said he was the number one draft pick. Um, just an amazing, uh, amazing. We call him Doc Doctor Irving Fryer. Can we? Is it Irving or Irving? Irving. Irving. I said it right. Yeah, Amen. Doctor Irving <laughs> Fryer. Can we give it up for him? And is it okay that I call you Doc? Cause call me whatever you on. want. Just Amen. don't call me late for Amen. dinner. Amen. I ain't going to call say, you late. Say, but but I, I, w- I want to put some respect on your oh, name, man, sir. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Well, well guys, um, welcome, welcome uh, once again. Um, uh, let's just go around around the room. I just want to thank you, Peter, uh, for being with us. Uh, I, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm yeah. excited, yeah. too. So. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Anytime we can uh, come together to you know help with uh, children or Anything in God's yeah. uh, ministry, I'm I'm down. For Let's it. go. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring you back. You have an amazing story, just about uh, you and your wife and your family. We, we'll have to, we'll have to, I'm gonna have to get you back here. But um, so excited. And uh, and Dr. Fryer, thank you, sir, uh, for being here once again. Um, I appreciate. Every time you. I ask you, you I mean, just say yeah. yes. Well, why yeah. not? Yeah, amen. I, you know, if you got a good thing going, yes, you know, sir. if it ain't broke, come on, fix it. Let's go. So that's why I'm here. Amen. I love you, man. I love, love you too. Yeah. So, so here we go, guys. So as you know, um, every every time we come together, we kind of have a theme. Well, our theme for the Better Man Men's Conference, October 26th, get your tickets, guys. Um, it, it's selling out. We already have sponsors of, are, are getting tickets. Uh, people are purchasing tickets. If you look on, um, you can go ahead and click on the QR code and get and purchase tickets. We also have only 10 VIP uh, tickets that are available. I think we got nine. Somebody just bought one. Um, so you can have the VIP experience uh, where you can actually be with the sponsors. There's a special sponsor luncheon. You'll be able to hang out with our special celebrity guests. Um, you see all of them, but right now we got Irvin Fryer. He's going to be with us. Brian Dawkins. It's going to be it's going to be really, really amazing. So make sure that you do that. But our theme for the Better Man Conference um, is is very simple. It's called the End Game. Um, and of course, you know the Avengers, but that's not where we're coming from. Um, every man needs to have an end game. Um, every man needs to to not just live in the present. They have to have a vision of what's coming. Um, and that that's our theme uh, today. And I, I want to read a scripture. As you know, uh, I'm, I'm a pastor, uh, a, a pastor, a lot of different other things, but I'm a man of God. So anything I do, we have to, we have to start off with the foundation. Right. So um, with that being said, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9 through 10. Uh, and y'all listen close because I'm going to ask y'all what y'all think about the scripture. Mm-hmm. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9 through 10. It says, remember the former things, those of long ago, uh, it says, I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. Why, God? Why are you like no other? Mm. Verse 10, he says, I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is to come. So, uh, Peter, we're going to start with you. Just, just, 
just as a man, you know, we're talking about end game. Um, as a man, how important is the revelation that's in this passage of scripture that God says, I declare the end from the beginning? Right. No, I mean, I just think back, you know, where God said, you know, before, you know, before I accepted Christ, yeah. what I was then and mm. what I'm now. Yeah. I'm thankful for his grace yeah. um, because, you know, I needed a lot of grace. Come on, man. You ain't, I still need we, we grace. We still need grace. <laughs> this yeah. is the we lead a not, lead a not, need a lot of grace table. Oh, so you, you, you good. You good, baby. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm just, you know, thankful for what God has done for my life. Yeah. And through the process now, you know, um, trying to help as many people as I can yes. to, you know, um, you know, find him. And, yes. And also the purpose that, you know, God has put in our lives. Come on. Help others to yeah. uh, make an impact to the people around us. I, so. I, I love that. I love what you said, that it's important as a man to find God. And when you find God, you find purpose. Yeah. Mm. I love it. Yeah. Awesome. How about you? Um, the scripture talks about the former things. So yeah. Remember the former things. Yeah. So, I mean, you could talk about or remember what the Bible says about what God has done throughout yeah. time. Yeah. You know, with miracles and sure. wonders and guiding and leading yeah. his people. Or, or you could use that in a personal sense mm. and look back on our lives, like Pete said. So good. Uh, and, and, and see what God has done from conversion yep. to now or yep. even before conversion, how yeah. he's been keeping us and, and holding us. And obviously the end. Ultimately, for God is for us to be in His presence yes, sir. for all of eternity. Yeah. So that's that's what so remembering dope. is all wow. about. Wow! To uh, to recognize the goodness of God and mm. the greatness of God yeah. and, and the awesomeness of God. Yeah. Uh, because what He's done in the past, mm -hmm. obviously, that will help us deal with the mindset that we need to have in the present. Yeah. In terms of anything we may be facing, sure. or challenges we may have. Yeah. If He did it before. Come on. It's the same yesterday, today, yeah. and forevermore. And yeah. then ultimately, our relationship with him gets us to where we want to be. And Love that's it. in his presence. So good. Yeah. All right, guys. So so that was amazing. So so here, here's our flow. That wasn't amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> it was. I'm a cheerleader. I'm your cheerleader. That was amazing. So so here's our thought. So that was our foundation. Um, the thought for the rest of our time, and for those of you that are watching, um, is knowing that, that God is God, that there's no one like him. Mm -hmm. But he says, I declare the end mm -hmm. from the beginning. So, so for a moment, I'm going to ask you all to kind of help navigate um, this moment and this time and the men that are watching, mm -hmm. um, you know, from this perspective. So, so we're going to answer this question. Um, what I wish I knew before I. OK, so so I'm going to give you a series of words um, and and statements that we're going to connect that to. Mm -hmm. And then I, I want you from your your experience, from your relationships um, that you've had with God or just in life. Answer that question almost as if you were in the in the present or the future speaking to your former self. OK, um, and or uh, from your present or and your past speak to. Um, our future. Speak to the men that are watching um, things that I wish I knew <laughs> before I did this, and and good or bad, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, but 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 bad isn't even bad. Bad is good, especially from the lessons that we learn from it. So with that in mind, what I wish I knew before I chose a career. So so today is our sponsor uh, edition, and we have Peter Zook from Stolfus. Structures, come on, somebody. Yep. Um, where they have amazing mm -hmm. structures. What kind of structure do you have? So we build sheds, yeah. garages, pavilions, pool houses, oh. greenhouses. I gotta get out there. Out okay, all kind of outdoor of, entertainment. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen his stuff? I've seen his stuff. Okay. Um, he's actually one of my uh, sponsors. Let's so go. Podcast. Come on, baby. I'm sitting here <laughs> familiar. What's the name of your podcast? Come on. The Fireplace. The Fireplace. Where the conversations are fire. Where the conversations are fire. <laughs> and I've never been on the Fire Fireplace. <laughs> Come on, somebody. God knows the I'm, beginning from I'm, the end. He does. Yeah. I'm trying to get on, I'm trying to get hot on the fireplace. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. But yeah. Um, but no, what, I mean, talk Sorry about, about that. That's all good. We're going to do this the whole time. <laughs> Talking about choosing a career. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I guess in a sense, I didn't really have a choice. Maybe okay. not. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so, you know, growing up, you know, when summer breaks, yes. we went to work. Yes. You know, so it was kind of like built in sheds from. You know, the time yes. I was, um, you know, seven years old, we would paint yeah. trim to uh, 
you know, when I got out of school at 14, that's when I started building the sheds. Okay. And then uh, just kind of went up from there. But one thing that I wish I would have known yeah. back then, um, looking back now, I sure. could have done a lot better with is, you know, as a owner's son, you mm. kind of. So good. Every now and then you kind of feel like you, know, you can kind of do whatever you want so, so and in other get words, away with so it. Let, let's, let's, I, I love this. Slow it down a little bit. So you said you could feel entitled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I I'm wish familiar. now, uh -huh. looking back then, yeah. I would have appreciated that a little bit more than I did back, so good. back then. Yeah. Um, but thankfully, you know. God uh, is good. Yeah, God <laughs> is good. Um, it took uh, quite a bit of humiliating mm. before I was able to um, so get a Peter. grasp on that. Yeah. Um, can, can we slow that down? Because oh, yeah. it's really good what you just said. You said before you chose a career or you accepted the career that was for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, you said you wish that you had been a little more humble. You wish that you would not have taken things for granted. Yeah. And but then you, uh, my, my pastor, Pastor Lamont McLean, he, he did a series long. He, uh, he he passed away. Love you. Uh, he's in heaven. Um, but he, man. man was a great man. But he he did a series on humility, and he said, "Humble yourself." before you get humiliated. Mm. So you, 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 I just wanted you to pull that in because you said that you actually experienced some humiliation. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah, tell me about that. So actually, you know, I was the type of person, looking back, you know, I'm an outgoing person. Yeah. So, you know, for me, if a friend would call and say, hey, let's go play hockey on a rainy day, you know, who needs to work? <laughs> you know, just go, just go uh, play hockey, you know. Plus, I'm, plus I'm uh, the owner's son. Right. <laughs> so it was a lot of that. And then um, wow. when I started dating my wife, mm -hmm. um, she lived out in Colorado. Yeah. And so I would take trips out there. Okay. And, and I was on the line at the shop. Okay. And finally the foreman's got – tired of me mm. just kind of doing whatever I wanted to okay. and okay. all of a sudden my dad called me one time when I was out in Colorado and yeah. said hey I, I don't know if we have a job for you when wow. you get back wow. and I'm like oh wow. my goodness like yeah. that that's when it's reality humbling. set in yeah. you know um, but thankfully there was a guy that was like, Hey, I, I can, uh, use him to build chicken coops, mm. which, you know, was more <laughs> on the bottom end sure. of the, you know, yeah. the, um, totem pool, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah. So I worked in there for probably half a year. So dope. Um, you know, kind of started. And it prepared you. Yeah. To be able to mm. accept what actually already was yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you had taken it for granted. Yeah, and got familiar, and then uh, came back up through, started you know, wow. working in the chicken coop bay, and then from there, uh, the guys you know were getting busy building sheds, so yeah. they asked if I could help there. Yes. So started with that, and then um, you know, j then over that time I got married, so I was a little bit more you know committed, sure, uh, focused, I guess you would say. Um, but then from there went into, uh, built in the two story garages okay. and so you got and, out the chicken coop, yep, got out the chicken coop started <laughs> okay. you know, building the sheds and then uh -huh. upgraded to the two story garages yeah. and for then people, not chicken, right, right, right. right uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so chickens, you don't really care yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Exactly. Hey, but, uh, you know, two story garage, uh -huh. you know, I you like gotta that. have quality. Sure. And, and um, so, yeah, it's, did that for probably a year or two. Yeah. And then um, finally got to the point where um, my older brother that, you know, I'm doing his job now. Yeah. He was um, doing more investing on his end and mm -hmm. they needed a dispatcher. Okay. And wow. uh, so you got you got humbled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it went from there and and now I'm at current job. At, Let's at dispatching. Go. OK, so yeah. so I, I, I want to wrap this part up because we're going to go to uh, one of your commercials. Um, but we're going to go to a commercial. But I love this. So and we're going to uh, throw it to you, Irvin, when we get back. Um, and that is that what I wish I knew before I chose a career. And here's what I heard you say, um, that even though things are given, they have to be earned. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. All right, well, we'll see you right back That's after a preacher this. Right there. Come on. <laughs> That's a preacher right there. See you back after this. <laughs> Make a sermon out of anything. <laughs> Did you know that your business is as unique as your fingerprint? Haddon Savings understands your business's unique financial needs and is here to help with a wide range of SBA loans and assistance. We also offer commercial real estate loans to leverage your equity. Use it to build, buy, refinance, expand, or remodel your business. Call us today. 
today to get individualized financial services tailored to fit your needs. Haddon Savings Bank, creating banking relationships since 1905. In Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, there's a slightly slower pace of living. That's also where you'll find the home of Stoltz Fish Structures, where quality, integrity, and world-class customer service are more than just a way to do business. It's a way of life. From our humble beginning over 40 years ago in a small building to the modern 65,000 square foot facility of today, we've remained at the forefront of our industry. Everything from gazebos and sheds to garages and pergolas and everything in between. For over 50 years, Nuss Construction has focused on family first and giving back to our community. That's why we are proud to support Family Matters Daycare in the Better Man 24 Conference. If you are in South Jersey, consider us if you need a new bathroom, kitchen, or an addition to your existing home. Protecting your family and making them more comfortable is one of our key focus points. Call today for a free consultation and discover the Nuss Construction Company difference. So, so before, guys, we went in commercial, we talked about our whole, our whole theme is the end game. And we talked about what I wish I knew before I. We talked about what I wish I knew before I chose a career. Peter, I love what you just said. You said, um, even though you're in a family business, um, you said what I wish I knew was that even though things that are, are given to you, like your position, you still had to earn it. Yeah. So that was powerful. All right, so I'm so, um, going to ask you, Irving, what... What is it um, that you wish that you knew before you chose your career? You want the long answer or the short answer? Uh, give me the middle. Yeah. <laughs> give, me the, give, give me the medium one. Well, uh, <laughs> in, in my life thus, thus far, yeah. there's been several careers. Yeah. I'm going to go back um, to the one where most people know you. identify me sure. with, and that's football. Yeah. Um, I have a strange story, a different kind of story, mm-hmm. because it's going to sound crazy. I never wanted to play football. Yeah. Jesus. Never wanted to play football. Yeah. Didn't want to go to college. Wow. Hated school. Wow. I got A's and B's in school because if I didn't, my mom would beat me. Yes. <laughs> so I was scared to death of my mother, so uh-huh. I, I, I got good grades. So yeah. I was, but I was, by the time I finished high school, I was done with going to college. I did not want to go to college. Wow. I wanted to go in the Marines and fly jets off of Can I back up just a second? Because you did say something. I don't know if you said this before, but that did blow my mind. So you you didn't want to play football? No, I just, I played sports. I was good. Yeah. I was an athlete. Yeah. I played baseball better than I did football. Wow. So I was just an athlete and I did it not with the intent of right. going to another level. Sure. Not with the intent. I didn't have a dream. You didn't have the hoop dreams. The dreams uh-huh, of uh-huh. being yeah. professional. You know, that's what you see a lot of wow. cats today wow. as young kids. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Their dream is to go into professional football, whether it was f- professional sports. Yeah. I think money has a lot to do with it sure, now. Sure, absolutely. Even going to college is money right. now. Correct. But uh, back then, I was just an athlete, and I played ball because my friends played yeah. ball. Yeah. I had no aspirations of playing professional football. I yeah. was not a sports fan, so to speak. I didn't follow. I didn't have a favorite player. Or any You're telling the truth. I'm telling the absolute truth. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm in the house of God. I better <laughs> be telling the truth. But, and anybody can tell you. I just wow. I didn't have wow. the desire to do that. I wanted to go. I had Amazing. a couple of uncles yeah. who were Marines. Yeah. And I wanted to go in the Marines and fly jets. I had this wow. affinity for airplanes. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. Well, I started getting these scholarships, and then my mother made me go to college. Yeah. She said, you got to go to college because nobody's ever been to college before. you got a free ride. Yeah. Yeah. scholarship, you need to go. Well, I could still play ball. I was playing ball. I was playing right. ball good. If I'm there, I'm not going to waste my time. So I played and I was good. Yeah. Uh, but I still had no intention of playing professional That's football. Crazy, huh? <laughs> not until like the end of my senior year uh-huh. <clears throat> where they were saying, you're going into the pros. I'm like, going yeah. into the pros? Right. I even told them I'm not coming to the pros. I wouldn't get an agent. <laughs> but when I came home right. after my senior year, we didn't have a house. Wow. We, were, we, were, we had lost the house we were in, and we were renting. I didn't know we were renting at And you're time. from New Jersey? I'm from New Jersey, Yeah. Yes, uh-huh. Back in Mount Holly. Yeah. So my mom said, listen, you got to, you know. Help us. Go yeah. pro, you can help us out. Wow. So I played professional football. Yeah. Now let me back that up. Like I said, when you look at some of these athletes who enter into professional sports, yeah. they have a plan mm. because they've been planning on it sure. since they wow. were kids. Interesting. And I wish wow. that I would have had a plan mm. and 
prepared myself. Oh, good. I did okay. Sure. You know, I played 17 years, Pro Bowls, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Right. I should be in the Hall of Fame. Hey, Amen. Not- Come on, somebody. <laughs> I did okay, <laughs> but that was really, it was sheer, particularly the first five or six. Dude, you're kind of messing me up. It I mean, was uh, sheer <laughs> talent I don't like and sheer desire simply because I was there in up. that space. But I didn't Jesus. have a plan. Wow. And had I had a plan, so I would have been able to maximize yeah. the space that I was in, sure. the time that I was there, because I would have prepared differently. And I would have put, I was making mistakes and doing crazy stuff. Yeah. You know, drugs. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Running the streets yeah, yeah. and yeah. sleeping with people, doing sure. all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah. When I was younger, when I first got into the pros. Why? Because I didn't have a plan. I didn't plan. Wow. I didn't, I did choose that career, sure. but I didn't have a plan wow. for that career. So good. I didn't have a so plan. Good. And young folk, you need to have a plan. Yeah. Yeah. So so let's let's stay right there, because this is really good. I want you to jump in too. You can we can jump in. Right. So so on this whole perspective of um, what I wish I knew before I chose a career that I had a plan. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you believe? You could jump into what do you believe a plan um, preserves um, and guarantees? What, what, what I, do you think a, a plan preserves? I think a, what does it guarantee? a plan preserves. Yeah. Um, whatever whatever the plan is placed on. Yeah. It it preserves. The production it mm. preserves the the position it preserves yeah. wow. the the uh, the productivity yeah. it preserves good. that and then um, it guarantees you a future mm. so good it guarantees your future yeah. when you move to a different space yes so had I had a plan mm. uh, for playing professional football sure whether it was the physical part of it yeah and making sure I worked out I didn't start working out like I was supposed to or like I did at right. the end of my career yeah until the middle of my career wow because wow. at the middle of my career the light came on sure maybe I can do this yeah. for a little while I started sure. getting some numbers for 17 years well, yeah but it was <laughs> wow it was strictly yeah athletic ability the sure. first nine yeah it wasn't yeah. until I got to Miami and I realized Crazy. dang I'm pretty good at this yeah <laughs> maybe I should do this yeah the right way. Mm. And I had some people around me, Christian brothers around yeah. me. I had just gotten saved before I went to Miami. Had some Christian brothers around me who were doing it the right way. Yeah. And so I started not imitating them, but mm. falling in line. That's so good. But had I had a plan, yeah, things would have been different. I would have prepared differently. Yeah. I would have acted differently. Mm. Uh, the, the outcome may have been differently sure. because I would have done things specific. I would sure. have done things on purpose. Mm. I would have done things with intention. I was just doing them. Wow. I yeah. was just doing it. Yeah. And whatever came my way, man, listen, <laughs> can I say this? You can say it. <laughs> <laughs> I was so stupid back yeah. then and yeah. unaware back then when yeah. I signed my first contract. Uh-huh. I can't say that. Uh, I said they gave the rain wrong the money, some money. Okay. They gave the wrong <laughs> black person. That's not the word I use. I used the N-word. Then they gave the wrong yeah, yeah. N-word. Ninja? Yeah, no, that's ninja. <laughs> they didn't gave the wrong one some uh, money. That's what I said yeah, when yeah. I first saw wow, my contract. Wow, wow. That's, that's how hilarious. unaware so, so let me, I was. Let me jump in. This is about amazing. the space that I was in. This I had no idea <laughs> the influence I had yeah. because of the NFL. <laughs> you know? Uh, I had no idea. Yeah. No yeah. idea. So I, I want to jump into this. Be, uh, Peter, jump in with if you want well, to. I'm just thinking. <laughs> it sounds crazy, doesn't it? No, I'm just <laughs> thinking this whole time, you know, in the Bible it says, yeah. without vision, the you perish. You perish. perish. Mm-hmm. So, Man, that's so, just so amazing. Thank too. you for that. So so I, I, I want to connect this. Right. Well, before we go into the mercy. There's mercy. Because I, I also, for <laughs> grace, for mercy. the young man, old man, men, men, even the ladies, because I know y'all watching too, um, that hear this, why it is so important. You know, what I wish I knew before I chose a career that I had a plan, because if you don't have a plan, you, people around you will. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, talk, real quick, and we'll move on to the next one. But, but somebody talk to me about that. Um, why, why that could be dangerous if you don't have a plan because somebody around you will have a plan. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> it, it, well, it happens all the time. You yeah. see professional athletes to get taken advantage of all the time. Yes. Why? Because somebody has a plan. Yes. And they don't have a plan. Very good. Uh, and whether it's a plan to have people around you to protect yeah. you, yeah. or whether it's a plan to educate yourself so you have yeah. the knowledge about whatever it is you're involved in, whatever it is, if somebody else has a plan, and like it's all, it's. And the best plan old. wins, doesn't yeah, it? The best plan wins. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
like it said, if you don't have a plan, you plan to fail. Yeah. Jim Rome said, on, he if you don't design your life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what? They have a plan for you. That's not right. much. That's right. Ooh, I like not that. Much. Amen. Yeah. yeah, they do have a plan that you're not going to keep it, that right. you're yeah. not going to have it for long, and that it's going to be there. So yep. this is wonderful segue to the next question. I wish, I wish, um, I what I wish I knew before I made some real money. So, so talk, talk to me about that. What I wish I knew, you kind of segued into it well, a how little to bit. How to manage it. Yeah, how to manage I'll, it. I'll give, I'll give you a story and yeah. I'll be done. Yeah. This, no, this, you won't. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not going to let you be done. <laughs> <laughs> this happened after I retired. Yeah. I, was, I had played 17 years. Yeah. I uh, did some training. I became a transitional coach for the NFL. Yeah. They had put on an event where uh, they had some former professional uh, football players there and yeah. those who were going to be in the future. They were college guys coming into this event. Yep. And they had several uh, businessmen come and speak. These yeah. businessmen were former NFL players yeah. who had become successful businessmen. And this one cat was up, and he was talking. I'm sitting there listening, and this is after I retired. Okay. Um, he said, you know, he got drafted, and his father told him, listen, when you get your money, yeah. buy your house, mm -hmm. buy your car, right. you know, buy whatever it is you want right. that's going to make you comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you figure out how much it's going to take for you to pay your bills every month to keep your that lifestyle, lifestyle at that level. Sure. Then the next contracts or the next monies that you get, you sock enough money away mm. so that this sounds create, like a plan. So it creates that amount of income for you every month. Wow. So now you know you can live like this for the rest of your life. Mm. So good. Anything over and above that, yeah. you can invest. Anything yes. over and above that, you can take chances. Anything yes. over and above that, you can take risks with and yeah. play around with. So but good. you want to build your nest so you have money in the bank yeah. that creates yeah. the income that you need yeah. so you can sustain that lifestyle. I got mad. I'm like, nobody ever told me that. <laughs> right, well, right. I mean, that's you, a simple Because you said you, were about, you had retired by the retired, time you yeah. got I'm like, that, But that was simple. Yeah. Something simple, <clears throat> simple information, yeah. easy information, clear information. Sure. I can see it. Yeah, I can buy into it. Right. I can do that. Yeah. Nobody ever told me that. Because somebody had a plan. Somebody had a plan. Yeah. But, yeah. but sometimes yeah. we don't have access mm. yeah. to information. Yeah. Why? Are y'all hearing this? Because nobody in my family. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. yeah. Ever made any money? Wow! Nobody ever did anything in finances. Yeah. yeah. Nobody. They just assume my family just assume. Well, he made it. He must know what he's doing. Sure. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I yeah. didn't. I was faking it. Yeah. I looked good doing yeah. it. Yeah. But I didn't know what I was doing. So good. I didn't know what I was doing. So good. Yeah. So so watch this. We're, we're we're rolling. So what I wish I knew before I chose my career. What I wish I knew before I made some real money. And this ultimately what happens. But th I believe this answer is different than the first answer. What I wish I knew after I lost some real money. Mm -hmm. so, somebody somebody yeah. talked to me about that. Have you ever lost some real money? <laughs> what well, well, what I wish I knew after I lost some real money. Anybody? Probably the one thing that would first come to my mind would be. Um, Probably losing money, it was probably some self-diligence mm. that I didn't do. Wow. I didn't study, yes. you know, what I was investing in yes. or what I was doing. Yes. Um, but going back early on, you know, even when Irvin was talking about what, what I wish I would have, you know, knew yeah. before I made real money was, you know, um, reading books. Mm. Reading books. Um, that Probably the, my turning point was when I read uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Sure. Uh, that was like a, a game light, changer. Yeah, well, light bulb. kind of goes, yep. I mean, basically yep. it was very simple yes. things that Irving, that you just said. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. Um, but then, you know, with losing, you know, money, you know, that shouldn't stop you from so keep good. on investing, keep on. Right. Yes. Uh, because I think, you know, with, you know, what Irvin was saying about setting up for your future, your passive investments, that can turn around and bless others as well. So good. Yeah. So good. How about you? And we're almost done. Y'all, Are y'all getting something out of this? Make some noise. Uh, <laughs> fire emojis. Come on. Amen. It's, it's the education. Yeah. Financial mm -hmm. literacy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's simple. Mm -hmm. Under, understanding how money works. Yeah. Understanding how to, to 
uh, put your money in a place yeah. or where it's making money for you. Sure. You can't just stick it up underneath your mattress. Why? Right. Because there's inflation. Yeah, so and good. If, if, if you stick it up underneath your mattress. You can lose money. You're lo- you are losing you know money you because of money. inflation. <laughs> right. Why? Yes. Because it, it it's not decreases worth. in value yeah. 3 or 4% every year. So sure. you got you have to put it in something so good. that's going to yield. Y'all, hear, y'all hearing this? It's going to yield something. Even yeah. if it's just a little bit. Sure. It doesn't have to be thousands of dollars. You Correct. can take $100, $200 so good. and put it in some kind of mutual fund where it's yielding some kind yeah. of interest for yeah. you. Over Get time, some gold bars. Um, but that, but that again <laughs> mm-hmm. is something that yeah. I was never privy to right. until later on in my life. Wow. Um, so, wow. so yeah, I lost a lot of money buying cars. Yeah. Wearing clothes. You made if if I, you, if, I if, roll if, good if, and if, I look good. If, now, if, if if you don't mind, you made millions. Well, I yeah, I made millions over the seventeen over, years. Over seventeen years. But these cats now they yeah. make. Over I mean, a not year. Just, not the starters. Not sure. even the starters. The yeah. second string guys make Correct. more money in one contract than I made in 17 yes, years. Sir. There was one There was one year where I made a, a million dollars, yes, Let's go. when I went to Miami. Wow. But, yeah, to be able to, the, the financial and literacy. A million isn't even a lot. Oh, no, it's not a lot. <laughs> well, when I first <laughs> started in the bracket. league, tax yeah. bracket was 50%. Wow. When I first started in the league. Yeah. Uh, I was first person chosen in the draft. My signing bonus was 750 mm. and my salary was 250 Wow. So, it was way less than that by the time I saw it. <laughs> like, the time I looked much, at my bank how much account. Can I get? Yeah, where, where the rest of this. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, yeah. And, and you were the first one to get a check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So, like, like you said, Peter, it's, it's reading books. Yeah. And it's, it's not wow. difficult. You don't have yeah. to make it difficult. So it's good. not. But having that literacy so that you can, you yeah. know, uh, make, allow your money to make money for you. Yeah. Yeah. So good. But over those years, yeah, I lost money because I was just throwing it away. So so here we go. So 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 we're 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 landing the plane with one last question. So we we we, we talked about what I wish I knew before I chose a career, um, what I wish I knew before I made some money, what I wish I knew before I lost some real money. And 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 this is uh, this is what I love about God. And even as we read the scripture, where God says, "Look here, man, I I know the end mm-hmm. from the beginning." Mm-hmm. Um, and so the last one, I yep, say come one on, more jump thing in. about get in, money. Get in, get in. Probably the one thing that I, I uh, learned over the last Peter, you're doing just really couple good. years. You back? I ain't never been on a podcast. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. A couple of years ago, I heard this. I think it might have been Robert Kiyosaki. Okay. Yeah. He said, "If you want a, a Lamborghini or if you want an expensive uh, liability, yeah, buy wow. an asset to cover that." Right. So say you're, you know, you want a Porsche. Come on. Right. Your y'all, monthly payments are. People pay for this, y'all. You know, um, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. Find an asset that yeah, will so cover that. Mm-hmm. Cover yeah. the, the liability. So that was so I good. I just had to say that. No, I thank you yeah. for saying that. And 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 here we're kind of gonna end on a on a high note. It's hot in here, man. Hey, man, I know, but you, you're doing good. <laughs> I'm burning up. You're doing good. And, and and look and watch this. I actually uh, landed like Ir- Irvin. I, 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 Irving, I wrote this last one. <laughs> Irving, thinking about you. Oh Lord. Okay? And, and and so we said, uh, what I wish I knew. Um, before I chose a career, before I made some money, before I lost some real money, what I wish I knew um, after I saw God restore it all over again. And, and and like I said, you you really are, for real, for real, an inspiration to me just seeing what God is, is doing, mm-hmm. you know, in your life. So, he ain't done either. It, well, well, that's Ooh, the whole point. Yeah. What I wish I knew yeah. um, before I saw that God actually can restore it all over again. So we'll, we'll uh, finish with you and mm-hmm. then you. Right after this commercial break. (laughs) For over 50 years, Nuss Construction has focused on family first and giving back to our community. That's why we are proud to support Family Matters Daycare and the Better Man 24 Conference. If you are in South Jersey, consider us if you need a new bathroom, kitchen, or an addition to your existing home. Protecting your family and making them more comfortable is one of our key focus points. Call today for a free consultation and discover the Nuss Construction Company difference. Did you know that your business is as unique as your fingerprint? Haddon Savings understands your business's unique financial needs and is here to help with a wide range of SBA loans and assistance. We also offer commercial real estate loans to leverage your equity. Use it to build, buy, refinance, expand, or remodel your business. Call us today to get individualized financial services tailored to fit your needs. Haddon Savings Bank, creating banking relationships since 1905. There's no greater reward than seeing someone through a difficult process and helping them to what often becomes their second chance. 
Real people with real problems don't choose law firms, they choose lawyers. For me, the best attorney for the situation was needed. If you're sincere about your freedom, I recommend you hire Tamika McCoy. This is so good. Did y'all? Uh, did I leave you on a cliffhanger? Uh, my 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 producer was in the back doing this. I'm like, what is broken? And he was saying, time for break. Something All right, broken. guys. So broke. so 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 guys. So we're 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 done. We're at the end. What I wish I knew um, before I chose a career. We bang that. What I wish I knew before we made real money. What I wish I knew before, this was a sad part, before I lost some money. Um, and I, I think greater than all that, knowing that God sees the end from the beginning. Um, what I wish I knew before I saw God restore it all over again. So I, I'd like for you just even to talk, you did a little bit, whether it, it was the story you shared or another one, just about your redemption story. Just at any time where you lost something and you saw God Bring it back. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I think uh, the first thing that just comes to my mind is just being um, humble yeah. and accepting your failures, your, mm -hmm. you know, what, what you've done in the past, yeah. and just then seeing the goodness of God. Yeah. And also, you know, looking back now, you know, over the last couple of years of what God has been put in place. Yep. Whether it was um, times of trials, times of uh, not so fun times, yeah. mm -hmm. and looking back now of where, you know, God wouldn't have been able to right. do that sure. if we wouldn't have went through those ugly phases. Yeah, had you not had the chicken coop experience. Yeah. Come on, somebody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would turn into a sermon. No, uh, it's, it's yeah. a sermon already. Yeah, had story. you not been it's in the chicken coop, <laughs> come on, you never you know. would have been in the mansion. Come on, I feel a mansion. <laughs> Well, basically, what you probably built some, <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's amazing. But no, just uh, you know, um, yeah, thank God for His goodness. Yeah. Um, you know, now but some people help. quit. Yeah, how about that? So some some people can't make it out the coop. Mm -hmm. Some people say, "Oh, forget it. This thing don't work. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna do some heroin. I'm gonna kill myself, mm -hmm. or I'm just yeah. gonna be average." Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll go back to you. But then you know, um, with the children that we take care of now. Yeah. Just seeing the you know impact the um, you know the stories that so, I can so share. So side note, you you this is something you shared off screen that not only do you do you have natural children, but you also take care of children. Um, go ahead in the yeah. area you've adopted children. Yeah. Yes. So we um, we have two biological, and then one one we adopted yes. uh, from newborn, and then we have uh, eight others that wow. we help out. Come with. on. Um, so on. the reason the we, reason. we never, uh, work with fostering license, but we are working on that now oh. just so in case, sure. uh, the kids from Philly, you know, um, need a yeah. home or whatever, Come on. um, we'll have our proper stuff. Let's in place go. Don't now. say that too loud. They be watching you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I, awesome. I, um, yeah, just, to, you know, thank God for what he has done yeah. in, in my life, um, so through this. So good. All right. We're, we're, we're coming to a close. Uh, I, I, I got to hear from you. Um, mm -hmm. what I wish I knew before I saw God restore it all over again. Um, before restoration yeah. comes some kind of destruction, some yeah. kind of tearing down yeah. um, so that we can rebuild or so that God can rebuild. Yeah. In my, in my case, uh, in my relationship with God, I wish, because it wouldn't have taken this long if I knew right. this ahead of time. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> you're wish, helping somebody. I, yeah. Uh -huh. I wish that I would have known that what God was doing in that deconstruction part in yeah. that turmoil yeah. area that God was showing me about me. Yeah. You know, a lot of times when we're in difficult situations or in the middle of a storm, yeah. we hear the storm, we see the storm, there are usually people involved, and yes. we're looking at and paying attention yeah. in those areas, but really God is working so on good. us. Yeah. On us, and it wasn't until I realized, oh my gosh, I'm jacked up in that area. Mm. I need, I I got anger issues. Sure. Um, I'm really depending on people, and I'm Come a pe on. people pleaser. So, so um, good. I, I really allow these kinds of things to happen rather than focusing on God. Mm. And and in the midst of the storm, that's yeah. what, that's what you got to do. Amen. If you don't, you won't make it. Come on. Focus on God, and then God was able to show me who I was at this mm. point in my life and what needed to be fixed, what I needed to work on. Uh, so in, good in myself. I, I love what you're so saying. I wish I'd known that ahead of time. That it was God in this. Well, I knew God was in it. Yeah, yeah. I just wish I knew He was 
trying to fix these certain areas, yes. Yes. I would have recognized that earlier and it wouldn't have taken this long. Would have let go. Long. Yeah, I would have let go. I, I had a crazy thought. I'm going to go ahead and say it because I say crazy things. Uh, you may not remember this, but you will. Uh, Eddie Murphy, uh, I think in, you know who Eddie Murphy is? No, wow, that's Isabel. crazy. You don't know who Eddie Murphy is? That, 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 that's crazy. Hey, what? I was raised Amish. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so, you so, weren't privy so to So Eddie TV. Murphy, before he did Shrek, he was a comedian. He told this story about his Aunt Bunny uh, falling down the steps. Mm. And he said what was so crazy about this about her falling down the steps is that she would fight the fall mm -hmm. and it would take a long time. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I, I thought about when you said that, that man, if I knew even during this deconstruction process right. that this was actually God's process in restoring me yeah. instead of holding on or fighting the right, fall, right. just fall down to the bottom. Or, or, or looking <laughs> yes. in the wrong place. Correct. Yeah. You know, yeah. Focusing yeah. on the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. Just open your eyes, yeah. see what it is, and like you said, let go fall. Yeah, he got you. Even if you hit bottom, yeah. Jesus is the rock at the bottom. Because he's going to use yeah. this to restore me. And and that's why I say, Always. sir, I, I, I love to give people their roses when they're due just watching the restoration. You know, watching how the Bible says that, that I will restore to you what the locust and the canker worm has eaten. Anytime there's crucifixion, yeah. there's always resurrection. Amen. Come on, always. Somebody. All right, once again, we're going to give it up for Peter Zook from Stolfus Structures in Lancaster. Yes, PA. Sir. Come on. Y'all come out. Get you some structures. Get on down to Lancaster, PA. Uh, and, and I'm making jest, but I, I, I'm serious. They, you guys have some amazing structures. Um, even uh, I saw the pictures. You guys have, uh, you guys have uh, what do you call man, man cave, cave structures? Man cave. And you said what? She we got sheds. some she I ain't yeah. never heard of a she shed. Never heard of she I'm shed. afraid of she sheds. Uh -oh. um, they got she sheds. And, guys, uh, when you come out, I, I think if, if we talk to our sponsor, uh, he may be able to bring out some structures. Uh, we, we can play some video games or something in the parking lot in That's the structure. Right. So it's going to be so dope. Um, and once again, Irving Fryer. Uh, once again, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you Bless for you, just brother. always saying yes. yes. And, and like I said, uh, we, we don't hang out as much as we need to. And I'm going to finally right. get on the golf course with you and yes. eat with you or something. Okay, all right, yeah. I can't play at all. Uh, all right. but, but I just want to make your me feel better. Right. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, but come on, guys. Once again, so we're excited to see you at Better Man 24. Four, uh, where all of this is about to go down. Don't go anywhere. Check out this dope commercial about Better Man 24. See ya. You called out my name. Better Man Conference. When change takes place, there should be a sign. When things change, we can see it. We can feel it. We get to experience it. Is this making any sense? You cannot hear the word and not be a doer of the word and still keep the old you alive. But the reason why we're not doers of the word because there is a version of us we're not ready to kill yet. So for those who are going through right now, there's hope. You do have hope. There is something on the other side of this. Don't get caught up where you are. Don't stay where you are. Move it. Men, are you ready to transform your life and become the better man you've always wanted to be? Join us on October 26 for the Betterman Conference 24. We are bringing you an incredible lineup of speakers, including Pastor Ted Winsley, Apostle Brandon Clack, and NFL legend Brian Dawkins. And that's not all. Special guests Irving Fryer, Thomas Toupe, Bobby Williams, Ike Reese, Jason Avant, and more will be a part of our day workshops. Don't miss out on the early bird special. Get your tickets for just $75 until August 31st. After that, tickets or $85 food is included. Invest in yourself and secure your spot today. Betterman Conference 24, where men come together to grow, connect, and become the best version of themselves. Visit our website now to get your tickets. Be there. Be better. Betterman 24.